Right, another video. I am waiting on the K3 Mark III to get here. It's out for delivery. So I should get it today while I'm sitting around here waiting for the UPS. If you to do a video, I did a review uh, comparison between the KP and the K74. And I didn't cover this in the video. The KP has an electronic shutter. So I'm going to go over that now and uh, maybe tell you when you might use it. So anyway, it, it's real easy to get to it. All you do have to do is hit info and it's right here. You're uh, by default, you're on just the mechanical shutter. So all you do is change it to electronic shutter. So I'm just going to take one picture now. You hear that? Well, that's an awesome picture. But anyway, the, the mirror still has to come up. So uh, you'll still get noise on that first because the mirror is going to come up. Now, if I change it into burst mode and we'll go here. Let me uh, change this to manual real quick. So we get some, geez, um, change it to manual and I'll put it at like, yeah, 4,000. So it went up, I got my finger on the button. It's still taking pictures. So I mean, it's underexposed, but it took several, several pictures there. So you can see by the number there at the top. So you're not hearing the shutter, you're not hearing anything. So it's it's silent after that first shot. So uh, things about this that I don't like, if I'm looking through the viewfinder and I'm holding down that burst, you won't be able to see it in the viewfinder. But if you go over here to live view, always gets me on the KP where the live view's up here. You can still, let me lower that, uh, not bad. I'm gonna lower that shutter speed down so you could see a little bit. Like, okay, so now if you, you have it in live view, you could still see it. It's still tracking, you see there? But you won't see it like that in the viewfinder. So you have to kind of use live view if, if, if the subject's moving around a lot. Uh, the other thing about this, uh, let me switch it back and I'll show you. So back to manual shutter. Now if I'm on manual shutter, check, let me get back out of live view. Um, as you notice, my exposure, the, the most I could do is one six thousandth of a second, which is pretty fast. But when I switch it over to electronic shutter, check this out. One, what is that, uh, 24 thousandths of a second? I don't know what the hell you're shooting at that, but that's uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, your ISO, or I mean, your, yeah, your ISO is going to have to be way up there if you're shooting that. So, I'm not saying it's... Look at that. Okay. So my ISO has to be about that at F4. Uh, what, what, when would you use a, not that high, but maybe say like, um, like a lot of cameras go up to one eight thousandth of a second. This only goes to one six thousandth of a second, but you might be able to go to this. If it's say you're out in the middle of the sun and you have a, um, F 1.4 lens on there and you want to go F 1.4, you won't be able to, uh, You'll be overexposed if you're at six thousandth a lot, uh, one six thousandth of a second. So it is handy to have that. Will I be using this feature? No. Um, other things you could track at that high, you know, high exposure would be like hummingbirds. You know, their their wings move super fast. At one six thousandth of a second, you could even miss their wings. Uh, the like a NASCAR maybe going at two hundred miles an hour, you could freeze it probably pretty good with this. If you have a KP and use this feature, let me know what you're doing with it. Um, I mean, it's it's a cool feature, but something I'm not going to use. Like I said, you can't see it through the viewfinder up here. And uh, it's nice technology to have. I hope, hope they implement it further on other cameras and maybe uh, make it more usable somehow. But uh, I just thought I'd go over that. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you hadn't. And I'll be doing a ton of uh, K3 Mark III videos, probably one today. If, if, depends what time the camera gets here. But... Thanks for watching.